up once again? You're tuning into the mind of Opex. However, we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna do some trucking stuff. So what do you guys think? There's new laws coming up, making sure that all drivers have electronic logs. This is gonna be mandatory in November and December. I, I'm gonna guess it's December when it becomes mandatory. So what do you guys think? You guys mad? Do you wanna stop this? What do you wanna do? This is something that I, as an anarchist who hates laws from other people I'm never gonna meet, it bothers me. I wanna know what you guys wanna, uh, wanna say about this because this is rather important. Electronic logs, paper logs, uh, let's dive into it, shall we? Ah, it's really late at night. Well, not really late, but I've been driving for at least 10 hours now. And, all right, so, I have no preference between electronic logs and paper logs. I've used both. And in fact, I'm using paper logs right now. And I actually prefer, currently, I prefer paper logs. Now, in my eyes, as an anarchist, do whatever the hell you want, right? They created something out of the free market called electronic logs. This came directly out of the free market. I don't believe it was created as a scam uh, that in 2017, in December, they were gonna force everybody to use one of these and purchase one of these and you pay for its service, etc., and make it a law, right? I don't think that it was the government's attempt to force people. However, through the free market, they came out with a great device where it basically tracks you, your vehicle goes, and it tracks your, your miles, it tracks everything, right? It tracks when you're driving, uh, when you're not. If you turn off the key, it will uh, go on duty for you, as opposed to driving. Um, if you are in a standstill until you hit like 20, 25 miles an hour, or like three miles or whatever it is, um, it doesn't go into driving until that mark. So it's pretty smart and it's pretty reliable. So let's say you wake up at 8 a.m. and you wanted to get into a dock and your hours are not, uh, your 10 hour break isn't up yet, you can still go in that dock, right? Nobody's stopping you from going in that dock and it's not gonna start with your hours because you haven't driven at least three miles or at least put your vehicle over 25 miles an hour. So you can kind of still get away with a lot of shit on electronic logs, just like you can in paper logs. Not everything, obviously. Obviously you can erase your whole page on your paper log and do it all over, right? You know, you're at the shipper too long and then you can switch it up and shit. Okay, I get that, all right? Paper logs, you can edit more. Um, you can edit things on your electronic logs as well. Um, the company that I work for did not allow editing on logs until like a week after I left. Seriously, they would not allow you to edit. And I don't know if it was them doing it or if it was the service doing it, but it would not allow us to edit our logs. And uh, so I always had to call up the person in charge of that. And it'd be like, hey, yeah, it, it put me on duty. I forgot to go off duty or whatever, right? Can you switch this for me? And I would have to call if that was ever to happen where I needed to edit it and I didn't have access to it. Paper logs, if you screw up, like, so check it. I had a DOT inspection today. I went around a corner, uh, like an off ramp, and I went onto the road I was trying to get on. And right under that bridge, there's a an unmarked cop car. Unmarked, but I knew it was a cop car because of all the gadgets. And the person who got out of the car had a badge and, and a uh, walkie-talkie. Now, all these things you can buy at like a Halloween gift store, right? But <laughs> the point is, I can tell he was a cop. He literally pointed this way. He goes, pull over kind of thing. I'm like, what the hell? All these people here, all these trucks, and you pointed me because I was in the front? And he pulled me over. I never had a DOT inspection like this. I've had ones where they pretended I was speeding or something or whatever. But this one was new to me. He was just hanging out under a bridge, 
He runs out to the middle of the road and says, pull over, in all black, with a black unmarked car. I'm like, what the fuck am I getting into? And I still pulled over. I was like, and I went through the DOT inspection. Anyways, I had paper logs. And I did it really shitty, right? My paper logs looks like chicken scratch because I don't always have a straight edge, like a ruler or a side of something to straight edge all the time. So it looks pretty bad. Sometimes I do extra marks where they shouldn't be. So it looks really bad, but he still let me pass my inspection. So when it comes to DOT inspection, well, there's no beef between us and the Department of Transportation if we were doing paper logs. So it's not generally them who's trying to fix this, right? So who profits off this new law where you cannot do, well, you have to have electronic logs? It doesn't mean that you, I, I'm trying to figure out the law exactly. I think you still have to have paper logs just in case. So you're still going to have to know what paper logs, how to do your paper logs, which is really freaking easy. So, it's not DOT that's making this a mandate. Who is ma making this a mandatory law is still to be debated. Now, if you were somebody who hated, let's say you're a truck driver, you hated paper logs. Okay, free market scenario. You don't like paper logs? Where do I go? Well, find a company that doesn't have paper logs. I mean, that has electronic logs, right? Free market. It's in the free market. Come on, look at all this shit. This is people in the free market, free of exchange, etc. Free market of employment. You find a company that has electronic logs. It's really simple, but nope. So we got to admit, it's not the drivers doing this. In fact, it's a lot of drivers that don't like this, right? Don't like this mandatory law. It's companies as well. Companies that want to stick with paper logs because it's on benefit to them and their drivers. Their drivers might be with them because of something specific like paper logs. So they're going to have force their, client, or their uh, workers to go on these devices. Now, is it the government? Well, last I knew, the government really didn't give a fuck about us before. Why are they giving a fuck about us now? If they're trying to get their hands in this, they got to be making money somehow. Is it that Calcom saying, you know, let's get rid of paper logs. Not all companies are paying us for these uh, device services and, and the GPS services and all this shit. Well, possibly there could be... Uh, a financial benefit to the government for this, right? Right, I don't think that sun's gone for good. I'm in Pennsylvania again. And there's a lot of hills. So you're going to be going up these hills, down these hills, etc. And sometimes the sun's going to be there, sometimes not. All right, so my take on mandatory logs. It's not truckers that want this. It, DOT doesn't give a fuck about this either. They're just doing their job. And if this is the law, they're going to follow this law. If that's the law, they're going to follow that law, right? It's just like a police officer. Police officers don't make the law, and they're not going to quit their job because of something happening, right? So it's not anything to do with DOT. Um, especially the, the grunt workers of the Department of Transportation. It is rather government, but government needs some sort of incentive to be passing laws like this or else they wouldn't waste their time. Because they're not the moral high ground. They're not out to make sure you are safe. So the thing is that they know that people can manipulate their logs. You're at a shipper for five hours, you tear the page, and you start your new shift where it's not really hurting your 14-hour clock. Whatever. Whatever the case is that you're manipulating your log, right? And they don't want that because safety. Safety for the trucker. Hmm? So if a trucker was working too much, 
let me get this straight. Working too much. See, there's a lot of trucking jobs out there. Lots of trucking jobs. There's plenty of companies. Plenty of companies to work for. Let alone, you can always be your own boss. I mean, there's at least lease operator uh, stuff to lease ownership. There's tons of stuff out there. Tons of companies. So if you have a company that's overworking you, you don't need the government to step in and say, you know what, my job's overworking me. No, the old fashioned thing to do is, hey, you're overworking me. You're talking to your boss now. You're overworking me. I haven't slept in two days. Can I please pull over and sleep? And let's make this a thing where I get to sleep once in a while. Well, what's gonna happen? The boss is gonna say, I, yes, I like you as an employee, I'm not going to treat you unfairly, and I will abide by your needs, because you need this, right? You need sleep. And if they don't, if they don't come to terms with helping you sleep or, or you know, follow up to what you need, well, you leave that company. Again, free market. You don't need the government to come in and be like, you know what? Let's raise everyone's taxes and we'll put out a new law. Ha <laughs> ha! Woohoo! <laughs> and we'll fix everything. No, it didn't fix anything. You're still with that employer that's treating you like shit. Because if your employer is not letting you sleep, well, think about this now. If your employer is not letting you sleep and you're a hazard to yourself and others, that's not someone you should work for. Once upon a time, we were adults. I don't know what happened where we all have to be fucking babies. We're all babies asking for help. Please, can you make a law? I need to sleep. Come on, once upon a time we were fucking adults. Where you can make grown up decisions. I know that's fucking weird for you kids these days. But once upon a time we were adults. We didn't complain to the government. We would just do things on our own as adults. So the bottom line with the paper log versus electronic log versus what's mandatory and shit, my thing is nothing mandatory. Let the free market sort it out. If there's a company out there that's not letting their workers sleep, well, guess what? They're going to run out of drivers really damn quick, right? Or maybe that's what some drivers want. They want to work those extra hours, right? I don't want to be told when I can sleep and when I can't sleep. And the government's doing this. The Department of Transportation is telling me when I can fucking sleep or not. When I have to take a fucking break. And if I go over a 14-hour clock by a minute, I get penalized? Whoa! Whose interest is this now? Not mine. It ain't my interest. Get the government out of trucking. It'll become a lot better. I'm not saying that people should be going around with fucking 60,000 pounds on one tandem and 50,000 on the other. And their drives, obviously. I mean, uh, <laughs> their steers. I'm not saying people going around at 120,000 pound gross weight. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, why do they get to pick when we sleep do all the shit that we got to do. What if I wanted to drive nine hours straight and then take a break? Or why did if if I was in a situation right where I just wanted to get fuel, take a piss and go? Why do I have to wait thirty minutes for this shit? Because I needed a break before I started up again. Or this eight-hour break or the ten-hour rule. Why do I need this shit? Why don't I go like, well, my appointment time's here, and, well, I'm here, and it's going to take me this long to get there, and then, as an adult, be like, you know what? This is how I'm going to get there. Nope. You can't be an adult. You can't make your own decisions as a truck driver. Oh, here we go. There's an accident. Yeah. Alright. It's gotta be an accident, right? 
we're not near any freaking major cities, no construction, no road work, no lane closures. Alright, so I just want to get a little bit off my chest and I also promise to start talking about more trucking oriented videos. So, yeah, I prefer paper logs right now, but I don't really care. Either way, it's pretty nice that, uh, you know, if it was up to me, completely up to me, no paper logs, no log books, no books, no recording of all this shit, because it's pointless. It's pointless. It seriously is. It's pointless. When you're driving a car across country, you don't have to log nothing. Does this have something to do with safety or whatever? Now, if your company wants you to record stuff, sure. If your company asks for it, sure, right? That's company policy. I get that. But when it's a government policy, then there's a problem. Because this makes sure that you can't go out and find a better company. Because they're all like that. They're all logging your shit down. All right? So I want to hear what you guys have to say. Um, you already know I'm an anarchist. I'm pro-adult. I'm not pro, let's ask mommy for permission bullshit. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And uh, this is going to be a long night because I got to go 400 more miles. Oh, and I've already been driving for eight hours, so how is this going to work? It's not. Not in this traffic. <laughs> All right, see you guys.